Please, please don't sift through the scat. Hello there, Desire the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of What We Do in the Shadows, Season 3, Episode 1. Guillermo killed all the vampires, pretty much. Um, yeah, so I don't know where it's going to go, or what the hell's going to happen, but I am excited to find out. If you'd like to see the full unedited reaction, the link is down below for the Patreon and all my other social media links. Uh, again, I have Twitter. If you have Twitter and you want to message me over there, that's cool. I like replying to people's messages and meeting new people and all that crap. So yeah, I'm lonely, right? I need friends. <laughs> oh, fake laugh, real pain. Um, and my Twitch and yeah, all that. Let's just get this now and have some fun. It is true that Guillermo, the familiar that all of us share command over and responsibility for, <laughs> is the one that did the slaughtering. Yeah, it's not just your responsibility at all, Nando. It's, it's, it's a collective. It's a, it's a group responsibility. It's always way of saying thank you for saving us, but sorry, you're a mortal enemy. You've got to die, babes. But we are still in imminent <laughs> danger. May I remind you all that we were sentenced to death by the Vampiric Council for killing vampires. Which I mean, I just want to point it out there, and I'm sorry to interrupt, guys, but if I am to die, personally, can Nadja be the one to, to do it? Okay, thanks. I think we should slumber on this. We do not have time to slumber. The Vampiric Council is probably out there now, searching for us and him as we speak. <laughs> oh, shit. Silence! <laughs> and hark. <laughs> that was him. What could he want? Perhaps he is warning us of an imminent danger. Or maybe his poop bucket's full. We must check. I hope Ooh. it's the poop bucket. Oh, and while you're down there, kill him. Poop bu Oh, they, they haven't put him in, like, a jail cell or something like that, have they? Because that's some bullshit. Now remember, do not look him directly in the eyes. We still do not know the depths of his power. I never looked him in the eyes anyway, so I'm certainly not going to start now <laughs> and get the door open. <laughs> Stand aside. <laughs> Oh my god, that poor guy saved all your lives. Okay, maybe one of you big strong I'll men. Do I'll do it. I, I think it's important that I sift through the scat to see if he's sending out any secret messages. Scat away. Good thinking. Um, so here are your foods. <laughs> please, please don't sift through the scat. Huh? Or is it one of those things where you just linger and argue with each other because you don't have a Guillermo next to you to solve all of your problems? Yes. You need to prod him. Hey, hey, hey! The prisoner will be reminded to treat his captors with respect and kindness. Yeah. The same respect and kindness he showed you by saving your lives and you've locked him in a cell. You pieces of shit. You okay? No! <laughs> Let's go. We've lingered here long enough. He'll just do his mind magic on us. That's right. probably what he's doing with my cattle No, prod. don't touch that end no! oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> that one was on me. I'm not giving you credit for that one. I don't... Yeah, it was the both on you. I mean, I hit my thumb earlier, and I mean, you probably can't see it, but it's... It's so... So, yeah, we're, we're both in pain right now. And uh, hopefully we'll pull through. Yeah, without me, the vampires don't know what they're doing. Like, literally, they can't do anything without me. They can't even imprison someone. You want to see something cool? And here's the little secret. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been doing is I've been coming up here and doing all the things that need to be done to keep the house functioning. Wait, so they've put you in a cell and you escape to clean the house? Re really though? Really gizmo? wonder what would happen if I wasn't here to help them out. They're like family. I know. Codependent much. What kind of psychopath eats a burger with a knife and fork? How are you holding up? Yeah. Come see, come see. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so... Me, me neither. You're gonna have to explain that one, dude. We've done this! <laughs> Ow! Fucking splinter in my boot. <laughs> which reminds me, I brought to your dinner. The chicken! Yeah. Yay! Salmonella! Thank you, master! And you are comfortable slumbering in your coffin, knowing that bloody Guillermo's poncing around the house? We could get locks for our coffins. Inside locks. Does such a thing even exist? I can't even slumber knowing he's downstairs in that basement. So I've been busy in my potting shed. Yes, we we all know what you've been doing. Don't shake his hand. Uh, uh, 
Well, they know you're not in your cage now, Gizmo. No bullshit from thy mouth. But before you speak, how did the prisoner get out of his cage? I'll tell you later. Okay, but what about your poop bucket? I mean, is it empty, half empty, mostly liquid, or are there some Lincoln logs in there for me? Okay. Listen, everyone. Yeah, so he's kind of got a thing for poop then. The, the, it's definitely a sex thing, because all the weird things are sex things. What's the weirdest sex thing? Poop. <laughs> Oh, let me know in the comments down below. Don't. Leslie Laszlo Cravensworth and Colin Rubenstein. I applaud you. <laughs> Congratulations. With the help of your bloodthirsty minion, you have eliminated almost 70% of the most powerful vampires in the tri-state area. Holy fucking shit balls. You can't... Wow. I am pleased to announce that you four are hereby appointed to what be the, the leaders of the Vampiric Whoa. Council of the Eastern Seaboard of the New wow. World. Well, that's what? That's sort of a surprise even to me. Well <laughs> so, so they're now the Vampiric Coun Council in their area. Holy shit. Because of Gizmo, though. I didn't become a vampire to end up a pen-pushing bureaucrat. I became a vampire to suck blood and to fuck forever. But you must admit, this is Quite an honor. I couldn't give a fuck. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, apart from the suck and blood thing, I'm down for the other one. <laughs> blood tastes like a bad penny. But one matter still remains. What to do about Guillermo? Do you have to chain me? Oh, no. Then why did you do it? Mm, Seemed kind of fun. Arousal, maybe? With Colin Robinstein, you never know, do you? Guillermo de la. Uh... What is Cruz. it again? Um, Greenberg. De la Cruz. No. <laughs> you have come to a final decision regarding your fate. Oh, I think he'd know his own last name. You don't have to say no. We have decided to make you a fully fledged member of the team. What? what, what? You're going to make me a vampire. What? Of course we're fucking <laughs> not, you idiot. Me? <laughs> oh, man. I was like, yeah, finally. But no, fucking hell, my hair. And if things go very, very tits up, you end up with full-blown brain scramblies. As we both know, my darling, from experience. <laughs> but take that up a notch to a three-way hypnosis. Well, then you might be faced with the purple screaming Henrys. Or worse still, half man, half madness. I like Laszlo's hair. I think that he's done something different with it for this season. So four-way hypnosis. Yes, and we've actually never, ever done one of those before, so... Yeah, and the odds against you being normal afterwards are pretty fucking low. <laughs> no pressure. Just just do what I did and just hear the word four-way and agree and close your eyes. Fetch me the book, which is next to my father's ashes. Do it a bit quicker, because you're interrupting my magazine reading. Now go into the basement and fetch my witch's skin Hat. Don't you fucking dead! So yeah, <laughs> I just let them think they can hypnotize me. Yeah, so you've become immune. Makes sense. It's a lot. <laughs> Darling, it's almost as soft as you are. Mm, very nice. <laughs> are they going to come back with another one? Cause... Membership has its privileges. <laughs> now, before we get down to business... Yee. Oh, nice. Which oh. one of you will assume the master's throne? Oh. Is there not a uh, throne for all of us? <laughs> <laughs> no! Well, in that lies a problem, because they're all going to want to sit on the throne and they can't. So maybe the, the council have done this on purpose to cause them to fall apart? I don't know, just guessing. Only what? So who will be the supreme leader who rules over all others? Um, uh, fuck no. Okay. I, I do it. I'm the best one for it, probably. But I think we've made it. Have haven't decided yet, Colin oh, Robinson. Yes. We've got you to make a decision you. together. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to cause a problem. It definitely is. And I'm excited to find out what kind of problems that causes. A great intro into the new season. Um, Laszlo's hair is majestic. Nadja is, well, she's just Nadja. And I love Gizmo. I love them all. There isn't a bad character. That's the problem. I'm like, this one's my favorite. And then the next episode, I'm like, this one's my favorite. Uh, so, yeah, the Vampiric Council is now led by those four. I said three before, I'm sure, but I forgot about Colin Robinson. But that's 
because he makes us forget about him because he's dull as dishwater in the best way um, but yeah, thank you as ever for coming out to watch these videos. I really do appreciate it. I love this show. It is it is honestly amazing. And I cannot wait to get to the next episode. So I shall see you over there if you're still here, which most people aren't. So yeah, um, my safe word is cabbages. <laughs> that I'll know if you watch because then you'll be like, why is your safe word cabbages in the comment section? I'll, I'll see you in the comment section. Okay, bye.